Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel and I tell you it's a long weekend for me so you're going to hear from me a lot. <laughs> but like I said, take me in small doses. Um, you know, when you get the notifications that I've dropped the video, just acknowledge it, watch a few minutes of it and then if you can't do it in its entirety from start to finish, just go on and archive it in your library and put something to watch when you got time okay that's how we do it over here we don't ask for too much just enough to definitely keep the open airways open of communication the line of communications open so we can continue to interact with each other whether i drop it right down for y'all to take part of right then and there when you see the no notification bell rings or whatnot notifying you i have dropped the video whether you get to it at that particular time or later on that evening or later on that week that's fine with me just as long as you click me you give me that like you share that video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go on and do so okay all little things that are all free if you tend to care for me and want me on your tube and drop down these salacious, slanderous, kind of infectious type of uh, entertainment, okay? But I'm telling you, honey, the missiles are gone out and they're being sprayed one half on Kenny's side, one half on Nini's side, and I'm just waiting for things to explode, okay? That's all I'm, I'm waiting on. Because we are in DEFCON 1. All right. We have strategically uh, sent out the troops on both sides. And right now they battling. Okay. The missiles have been fired. And it just is what it is. You're either Team Nene or you're Team Kenya. Right now, you know how I am. Ain't on nobody's team. Because every last one of those ladies can get it. Depending on their demeanor. At whatever point they're giving me a story on them, okay? They can be cool with me one day and then I'll be on their behind the next day. So you can call me biased, you can call me unbiased, however you see it fit. If they out there in them streets doing something, I feel I need to speak on it. Trust and believe it. ain't nobody safe, all right? But anyway, honey, showbiz cheat sheet that's a vlog inside out there. They got the tea, the coffee, the wine. Any type of beverage you partake of when you're uh, sitting down reading a newspaper or looking at entertainment gossip news or just anything on TV. Yes, honey, they don't pour it up, serving it up to you hot, okay, hot and then lightning, all right? I'm like, okay, 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 I understand. So now we have to distinguish as individuals, educated individuals, because everybody float on my side of the family which is the family affair side we are street smart we are book smart we are intellects over here now we can act a darn fool and act like we ghetto or we just want to show our ass but we also can be classy all right and we can be on all fronts of knowing what's what you can't pull no tricks over here on the real <coughs> housewives of atlanta show of reviewing and recapping called Dev chanel's 40s where because it's a family affair over him we talk we uh talk crap sometime too we get into it with one another but we still come back in a united front and say and stand in our own truth whether we for something or whether we against something and then we dialogue to tell you know, people we're interacting with, why we feel what we feel on subject matter. Okay, but show me his cheat sheet. Uh, Armando Tenaco was the correspondent who wrote up this little piece on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene Leakes, talking about she spat. Or someone should spit on Kenya Moore. Now I'm like, y'all know how I feel about Toro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I feel about it. She a little bit too much for me. She over the top. And, you know, she definitely brings out the drama. She don't bring it like Marlo Hampton, where I can digest it. Kids just be too much in the mix and always trying to drop tea on people, but then she don't want to showcase her own shit. You know what I'm saying? She want to just put the back, put it on the back burner, or she don't want you to talk about it but a little bit. You know what I'm saying? She only want to give you a little bit in my 50 cent voice when it comes to her problems, her trials and tribulations. But she wants to magnify on the highest level octave level on somebody else's downfall or somebody else's um dissension going downward okay but when it comes to nene lease nene lease that's just foul fraudulent 
fuckery, foolishness you did. Okay, my four L's. That was just foul, 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 okay? Nobody, I don't care if it's a snail on the ground, deserve to be spit on. Okay, that is so dehumanizing. It's just like, you treat it like it's just a person that's just like grass. You can walk on it. You can dig it up. You can spit on it or whatever. Discard your bodily fluids on it. Whether it's coming from your root or tutor or it's coming out your mouth. You see what I'm saying? That was just terrible. And at first you were saying you didn't spit on her. Which I, I give you that. But you did the act of trying to. And if it was permitted on any level, you would have released that uh, body fluid. Now, we don't know what you got. We don't know. We don't know your medical history. We don't know what you don't been uh, in contact with. You know, we don't. We just don't know. But that was too explosive for you even to put, perch your mouth up to look like you want to get rid of some saliva or some liquid discharge from your body and put it on somebody. I mean, we don't even expect that for kids to do. And I'm talking about toddlers that don't know no better until you pop them in their rear end or on their head. You know what I'm saying? Not to damage anything, but you know, you just give them that quick swap. Like, you done did something wrong and I'm not pleased with it. You know, it's that black mother love that's going on. <laughs> when you chastising your child and you quit fast in a hurry want them to understand that was a no-no you should have never did that okay but even Kenya Moore did not deserve for you to perch your lips up to act like you wanted to spit on her that's a no-no that is so foul and so ooh unsanitary in so many ways girl i mean i could see if you got your fist balled up until you know like you know a defensive mode or whatever you finna do that karate kid like that crane and karate kid or something like that now you know that is understandable not saying we permitting that on any terms of the fraction of you implementing that act no but that would have gave me a little chuckle here and there but when you turned up that mouth, that, mm-mm, that was like, turn, how my daughter say, turn the camera off, Craig. Turn, let's go to a quick emergency broadcast because we need a PSA, a public service announcement on how we do not on any circumstances, all right? Because I am thinking about now, if that's a, is that a, a thing you could do when you um, fight with somebody? No, nah, because I mean, we'd be wanting to bite sometimes. I've seen people bite folks when they in fights, but they don't want to be dripping their saliva. You know what I'm saying? But the spitting part, I've never seen that. I mean, I've seen it on um, that. Y'all remember when New York was on some show and some girl, um, what do you call it? <laughs> some girl, some white girl had spit on her. There was some kind of uh, show they had. And uh, I think she got dismissed. And before she left, she wanted to uh, get back at New York. And she spit on her. It was one of them thick, slobby type spits. You know, like they got that cold stuck on your throat. And you hog it up and it's just be plugged and stuff. Oof, child. But anyway, no, no, Nene. See, I knew I took your car for some reason. That ain't even an OG move. We we don't do that kind of stuff. We might talk trash here and there. We might be standing in our own firmness of what we believe, but we ain't got no time to throw no feces on nobody, and damn sure ain't got no time to throw no spit on nobody, okay? That's just foul. Oh, my goodness. But let's get on into the story of what Mr. Armando Tinoco had wrote up for his uh, vlogging company, Show Me His Cheat Sheet, okay? Don't know, because I, like I say, is allegedly over here. So don't take it for the, uh, you know, the, the truth or the truth or the truth. It's going to continue to unfold itself, and we're going to get it however they bring it to us. But right now, they're bringing it to us on an allegedly, excuse me, standpoint. It says, Nene Leakes and Kenya Mar are feuding on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. The Bravo stars are at odds with each other, and viewers are about to... Uh, about to witness the famous spit gate. Okay, we don't left snake gate and we don't went on to spit gate. All right. On TV, a mid-season trailer was unveiled to fans this week, which shows what ahead, what's ahead on the reality show and things are heating up. Yes, because we don't sit the missiles in, honey. We don't sit the missiles in. They are attacking both of each other. All right. 
So I don't know if that's a stealth type missile, not a missile, but an aircraft we got to go in and come back when somebody done shot a missile at us from another country. Yes, honey, we on DEFCON 1. Anybody know about the military stuff? They know what I'm talking about. We in dire times here. And when Nene did that little perch of the spit, that was the missile. That was like DEFCON 1. <laughs> <laughs> them fighting that that was fighting time then okay but anyway <coughs> like i said it's still allegedly but nini did put on her twitter account as well as it's just circling around social media she wished she would have spat or spit it on kenya Moore. so it was out her own mouth she definitely said it but i'm like honey why would you let anybody get you that out of focus, out of touch, would get on your nerves that bad where you saw yourself participating in the act of doing such a horrendous thing. Nene, 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 kind of, you better be glad. I, I don't really think you're going to get another season, girl. I mean, entertainment is one thing, but infectious control is another whole thing as well, too. But anyway, um, it says Leaks has had a particular hard time in season 12 rekindling her friendships with the Real Housewives star. She is feuding with Cynthia Bailey, Portia Williams, and Kenya Moore. In last week's episode, we saw how she tried to settle things with Bailey, but constantly had been interrupted. And the trailer fans can see that Leeks and Williams get close for reconciliation. Um, yes, that's playing on the, um, the, I think this episode that is coming up. Uh, they give us a little clips of her and Portia making up or trying to make amends with one another. But in the article, um, Armando is expressing the stated words from Cynthia from the upcoming episode that's coming on Sunday, this Sunday. He says, I love you like a big sister and I'm sorry, Leeks tells Williams, uh, because they embrace each other. It's been really hard without you. That's what Portia is saying. Towards the end of the trailer, there are two confrontations. Uh, between Leeks and Moore. The last one looks extremely intense with Leeks attempting to spit on Moore. Okay, so there was an act of. That's almost like an act and finna swing on somebody because you got your uh, hands in that stance where you finna do work. If they continue to come in your personal space, you are armed, ready, locked and loaded and ready to get to pouncing, okay? So when you take a stance like that, you know somebody's ready to fight. So when somebody perch up their lips and get that hard back in their throat, you know they want to spit whether they you know actually have the spit come out but you knew they were finna enact that particular act on you and it wasn't gonna be good especially if that spit hit somebody else and not the intended target which was Kenya boy Chaply. but anyway going back to the article it says she needs to spit on with all the harbor things she has said and done the real housewives start tweeted from constantly it uh started ish with me all season lying on me saying i'm on drugs i'm bipolar plus the recent tweets she posted so enjoy the moment i did the act but didn't spit i wish i had though no regrets see i'm like nay nay what is your spiritual counselor teaching you okay that woman that you have on speed dial i guess anytime you want to like you have a lawyer on retainer i guess you got her on retainer to talk to when you talk to you when you about to explode i mean do you not believe in some type of um well, I, I ain't going to say because I don't know what religion you follow. But I thought you always would get on your knees and pray to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? I thought you believed in Christianity. But I may be wrong. Oops. Okay. You depend on that counselor to tell you how to act. And, and you get your energy and, 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 and uh, strength from her. Okay. Okay. I get it. I'm going to back on out the driveway. Thank you for telling me where you have your spirituality laid and the foundation is bred from. Okay. But if you go to Nene's um, Twitter account, if she hasn't deleted it, you'll see where she actually states this in her own words. Hopefully it is her tweeting out this message that's put on her platform. Because she's saying that uh, she did the act, but she didn't spit, but she wish she had. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Going on, it says, Leaks tweeted, uh, Divided Fans. Um, though some viewers supported the new normal alum, there were many that clashed with the attitude she was adopting. 
You've lost the light, sis, a fan wrote. Spitting, hitting is never okay. It's time for you to step back and remember who you were before all of this. You're no longer any you're no longer any of the reasons we all fell in love with you from the beginning. Now I those are my sentiments as well. Girl, uh uh-uh. um, but then again, we don't know what Nene's true behavior was prior to entering in this show. She probably did a lot worse. And she probably actually did spit on people. We don't know. It's just like everything done in the dark will come to light surely. And with her in the amendments of wanting to do it. It was just like, what? You want to spit on somebody? I mean, if that's the case, I sure wouldn't let it out my lips and been vocal with it. It probably been stuck in my mind, maybe. But spitting never comes out my mouth. Either I'm putting hands on you and we finna do some do work, or I'm going to let you clock me out and I'm going to fall on the floor and then I'm going to say, okay, take me to the nearest emergency room, all right? And then can you uh, call the police because I want to plus charges. And then put my uh, attorney on the phone or let me find one so we can get paid. (laughs) Okay. That's my train of thinking all day, every day. Okay. Because like I said, I'm too old. All that fighting and biting and carrying on. uh, That's primary years in your early formative years, like in grade school. From pre-K on up to 7th grade. And if you had middle school. And even high school. But we're not in none of those uh, schooling type digs anymore. I mean, where do we grow up and we set responsibility for our actions? Whether they be positive or negative. You know what I'm saying? We just don't... I mean, we want our children to do right. Okay, how are we adults out here acting like children mentalities? Okay, so how can we tell our children to do better when we as adults aren't doing better? Come on, Nene, do better. Is that why your oldest son is going the way he going, Nene? Is that why your oldest son is acting in these streets? Is he, is it the apples not falling too far from the tree? Okay, I don't understand, Nene, I don't understand. But you calling King your monster. Uh-uh. Look like you the other monster too. All right. A two-headed monster at that. But we're going to go on back to the article. That was just my sidebar. It says you're a monster. What happened to you? Another fan observed. Kenya is an animal. She got what she deserved. I'm glad Nene is the only one to stick up to her. Kenya has attacked her. Uh, she King has attacked every person on Real Housewives and their husbands, a viewer added. Now, just to piggyback off what that viewer said, yeah, Kenya may have and does all the time on the show have get back and start shit. But like I said, don't no human being, I don't care how foul and disgraceful they are, nobody deserves to be spit on. Okay? Is this not kosher? No, that's a quick ass whipping if you want to know me. Because you don't put bottle of fluids on me. Like I said, I don't know what you got. You have anything under the sun. Hell, it could be something that you don't unleash that I may get sick from and die. Okay, so that's a true up ass whooping right now. True up ass whooping. And ain't no judge would probably put me in jail for it. Because that's spreading bodily fluids. We don't know what you got. Okay. So I would just lost my mind temporarily. Went insane. Okay. On that person's behind. And then probably have to fall out after that. Okay. Hmm. But anyway, that's my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says, Kenya likes to throw a lot of shade. When people come for her, she yells for security. A Twitter user user commented, if you notice each problem she has had with the cast member, she runs for the heels. Now, <laughs> that is true. Uh, spitting on someone is an assault and can... And you can be arrested, another Twitter user wrote. Shame on you, Nene. The last time I saw someone spit was on Flavor. That See, that's what I'm talking about. On Flavor of Love when that white girl spit on New York just nasty. Yeah, so see, yeah, they was in the same train of thought that I was. I know I'm, pers- I'm like, damn, I don't watch a lot of shows. I don't watch a lot of sitcoms. Hell, I don't be in, a, you know, in the comedy realm when people be doing stuff. But I ain't no way in the world I ever seen somebody in real life spit on somebody. You know, unless it's one of those civil rights things and, you know, how they did the black folks back in the day with the dogs and the water and, 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 and you know, just everything uh, unthought of, uh, humanizing uh, that they did the black folks back in the 50s and the 60s. You know how uh, I'm talking about. So, but, you know, that's what I said. That was really hate. It was formed in hate. It's called hate crime. So, Nene, when you did that, it don't matter what color you did it on, whether it's white on black, black on black, you know, whatever. 
that's still wrong. And and I'm with that lady when it says that's an assault charge. That's a bodily fluid assault charge, if we may put it in those terms, okay? Um, but let me see. We go back to the article. It said, did Nene Lee spit on Kenya Moore? Back in November, Moore made an appearance on the Wendy Williams show where she talked about her conflict with Nick. With Lee's. I had a high risk pregnancy that I wanted my entire life. She never once called me uh, more toes Williams. When I did show up, she never checked on my child. She never said, is everything okay? When she learned I wasn't going to be on the show, she never said, are you okay, girl? Do you need anything? Do you need anything? And then when she did see me eight months pregnant, she called me a monster and said that my child was a buffalo and she was hurling insults. Now, Kenya, you know, I, I don't did so many videos on her and this issue with Nene calling her a buffalo. I'm like, both y'all are in the ring. We expect for you to hurl insults at one another. To me, she may have said, um, what you care in a buffalo because she considered you a buffalo now was that tactful and was that something she should have said no but all's fair love and war you hit below the belt she gonna hit below the belt you aim at her kneecap she gonna aim at your toes it's just you know whatever it is but when baby brooklyn got up in this world nene ain't said nothing because she couldn't really say that because that baby's gorgeous okay but um you know, just you going tit for tat with Nene and then you're going to say, oh, she said all this, all that. that. Both of y'all have said enough about each other that it's just over the top. And like I said, some things just shouldn't have been said on both parts. So I don't give you a pass on any of that, Kenya. Okay, that's just my spiel on it. Um, then it goes to say... <laughs> Back to the article. After the confrontation between the two is when the incident occurred and more witness leaks hawking up her saliva. She tried to act like she was going to spit on me, more revealed. You would see that on the show. That same day, Leeks called Williams on the phone and the TV host made her spill the tea. Leeks told her that there was an intent to spit, but she never actually did it. Okay, now... My understanding, it was a situation where Nene was going around saying that never happened. The spit incident that King is talking about, it never happened. That, you know, she was just defending the, her character and all of that, saying it was a made-up lie. But now that we're getting ready or Bravo is getting ready to air that footage, now she's coming back saying, King, King had taunted me so badly, I just had to defend myself and did that act. Even though I wish I would have did it, I didn't do it. But that doesn't clear you of that incident, Nene. And for you to say that you didn't do it, but in fact what we're going to be figuring out, you did do the act. The saliva didn't have to come out, but you don't turn you know, us and our heads and our minds and our hearts against you because of that. Whether you did the act or not, you initiated it the act that was just enough we didn't really have to see this stuff fly out your mouth for us to say file on play nene mm, turn in your card okay i don't know you know like i said don't seem like your spiritual counselor is helping you any especially if you were talking with her during this time of taping uh she's not helping you much honey you need to go back to the good book and read it i don't know what good book you think i'm talking about i'm talking about the holy bible but you know whatever book you might need to get in and, and talk in and and, and 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 pray in you know because right now you're in the situation room you're in the war room you're in some dangerous territory where your car can be revoked from bravo franchise you know, in its entirety. Because, Lord have mercy, it's a good sore line. But if that spit would have came out your mouth, even Bravo themselves can save you because you would be torn up so bad in social media. Wouldn't nobody want to look at you on their screen. And Bravo like, okay, if you're not bringing in nothing, then we got to take you and dissolve of you. Okay? Because you did the act. You did it fully on your own accordance, even though it was, you know, a good juicy storyline and people were definitely tuning in and talking about the situation. But since you took it a little step farther, we're not with you. So it's like Nene knew what she was doing and she don't really care about what we think. It's just we got drawn into the scenario. We blew up their ratings by tuning in and that's all they care about. Okay. So uh, Nene is very smart in that particular a arena of thinking because it did get them 
what they wanted, which was uh, an explosion for the positive uh, ratings going through the roof because everybody was going to be tuning in for that particular showing. Now, I have a little clip from the upcoming um, episode that's supposed to air on the 19th. Um, hopefully it'll play, but here we go. Still Yeah. But they did show her doing the act and, and it really was funny um, Because she threw something at her first And then she just like She wanted to spit But I mean it is what it is It was just something you shouldn't do Even if you anticipated On not doing it But it's just you wanted to do the act of it Then you know like I said It's just uh, <laughs> I, I would have to say, no, no, no. I wish they wouldn't have aired it either, but they are going to air it. They should air it. And we see another side of Nene. But like I said, Nene is trying to bring the drama. That's what I'm talking about, about the spitting part, how she wanted to hog it up. And it gave us those three frames. <laughs> I'm like, whoo, girl, you be pushing it. You be taking it to the limit. Uh-uh. 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 Mm. Take it to the limit. Yes, Nene and Kenya know how to push them buttons. They be taking it, taking it right there to the edge. They ain't pushing themselves over the cliff, but they're giving you that cliffhanger type of motif going on. And that what that is what drives the ratings. So it is what it is. Y'all get down in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all feel about it. I know we're on DEFCON 1. Because it's like you don't poke the bell just too many times. Okay? And something has got to give when you're at that reference in your life. Okay? But we try to be on, uh, prevail on cooler heads. But sometimes things just get turnt and topsy-turvy. And we just do things that we know we shouldn't have done in the heat of the day. In the heat of the anger. In the heat of that moment okay but y'all know my opinions you know i like it when y'all get down in them comments y'all tell me what y'all feel about subject matter okay do that for me continue to share like and subscribe to my channel that i do appreciate okay and i will see you guys next video Bye bye